We start the first night of Black History Month in Lexington. The community learned more about a piece of history, a slave gravesite in the Lexington City Cemetery. A survey conducted last year found 32 anomalies in that space, and now the community is figuring out how to best honor the site. WXI 12's Kara Peters joins us live in Lexington with more. And Kara, this was a major discovery. Chris, Christina and Devonte, very major. And tonight, community members had a chance to come together and think about the ways to commemorate this site, whether it is a monument or a marker. Now, it's still very early in the process, so it's unclear what the price tag will be or when this will happen. But much of this would not be possible if it was not for the work of Lexington resident Tyrone Terry. Tyrone Terry, born and raised in Lexington, says he used to pass Lexington City Cemetery off North State Street every day for school during a time where he says segregation ruled. We went in the back doors of restaurants. We drunk out black and white water fountains. This is the way I, did. I go to school and I pass by here, you know, pretty much every day on my way to school. And that's, that's really when it dawned on me. At the time, Terry did not know about the history inside. It wasn't until a man one day told him about a slave grave site located in the oldest section of the cemetery. For some reason, I guess it was God, I thought about it. You know, when I first found it, it kind of brought me to my knees. It was, uh, it's hard to believe that people would treat people like this. Uh, even in death, that people would treat people like this. And, I shed some tears. I've shed some tears since. The site revealing a dark history and questions. The only thing that was here in the beginning when these slaves were buried here were these rocks. This was not here. This was put on sometime in the 20th century. We have no idea who did it or when it was done. It says in this large vacant space before the Civil War, Negro slaves were buried by their masters. With the help of Terry and community organizers, the city got a historic preservation grant to conduct a survey on the site in July 2023 using ground penetrating radar. Kayla Cannon with Richard Grubb and Associates was the lead specialist. We identified 32 potential unmarked burials. Um, 18 of them were identified as probable burials um, and 14 were identified as possible. But the burials that we did find in the section, um, we felt really strongly about them because they also did appear in six congruent rows um, that were in line with the, uh, the surface um, burials and headstones. Since then, both Terry and the city of Lexington have honored the site through memorial events and library exhibits. The way I feel now, I feel like my ancestors have spoken from the grave. Thursday night, community members gathered at St. Stephen United Methodist Church to discuss ways to best honor the site. We'll keep working with the committee. Uh, as all of the ideas are kind of brought together, we'll provide them with the support uh, to help get this project done. Something Terry says is long overdue, but a way to pay tribute to those that came before us. They're drawing people together. Black, white, Hispanics, Asian, they're drawing us all together. And they're talking. They're talking. They're just using myself and others as the vessel to speak to a bigger crowd. And Cannon says it is possible that there are even more burials in that site. As you heard, Terry and community members have been honoring the site with different events. And this year, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated will host a memorial event there at the site. That will be February 18th at 3 p.m. We are live tonight in Lexington. I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News.